I wanted to do a video on known asbestos filters in gas masks because a lot of people keep asking me is this filter safe, is this filter safe, is this filter safe, is this filter not safe, that sort of thing. So I thought what I'd do is show off some masks that have known asbestos filters and then obviously the list is much more broader than this but I can give you some general safety tips that should keep you safe. So any World War II mask is known to contain asbestos, almost all of them. There's some debate whether the German filters of World War II had asbestos in. But as a safety rule, you should not be breathing through a filter that's really that old. Because obviously, the older the filter gets, even if it was safe at the time of being made, the more risk there is of particles in the filter breaking down and being inhaled through the filter. So, even if it didn't contain asbestos, it would not be a great idea to breathe through one. So let's look at what we have here. Any British civilian style mask of World War II, that's the Mickey Mouse children's mask, but the general civilian mask, the civilian duty mask, all had similar sort of filters on. All of them known to contain asbestos and other things that's not a good idea to breathe into your lungs. Similarly, here's a British Mark V general service respirator. You can get these in Mark IVs, Mark III's, whatever. The sort of red-orange filter canister contains blue asbestos, don't breathe through those whatever you do. And same with the British Light Anti-Gas Respirator, the original 60mm filters contained asbestos. Here's a British C7 cold oil mask, quite a rare mask so I doubt many people watching the video will have it, but just as a warning, made in the 1950s, same kind of little filter on it that most of the British masks of the period used. Do not breathe through it at all. What we have here on the right is an original 60mm filter for the American M9 masks, another American 60mm mask from the 50s, contained asbestos. And the one that's going to be most shocking for a lot of people, but I've talked about it before, the GP5 filter. The filter everybody thought was safe for ages, now known to contain asbestos in up to amounts of 10%. Even models as late as the late 1980s, maybe early 1990s. The jury's still out on whether the Russian GP7 or PMK filters are safe. I personally would not risk it. The same goes for other Warsaw Pact satellite states version of the 40mm Goss filters. I wouldn't risk breathing through those. And all of the Russian other filters contain asbestos of the period. So the filters that look like that and the coffee can filters the Russians made all contain asbestos, do not breathe through them. Again, the jury's out on whether the PBF EO19 filters contained asbestos, but I'm taking a guess that because all the other as Russian filters of that period contained asbestos, um, you wouldn't want to be breathing through it. In theory, any of these filters, if they're in good condition, you can't inhale the asbestos, but World War II masks are very old, so why risk it? American World War II masks all contain asbestos as well. I don't have any examples there to show you. But as said, the M9 filters from the 1950s also used asbestos. The cutoff date for Western sort of NATO countries using asbestos in filters is around 1960s. But again, even a filter from the 1960s, I wouldn't want to breathe through it because it's old enough that makes me think the filter is going to start to deteriorate. As a general rule, I don't breathe through filters that are any earlier than the 1980s. Sort of after that, as long as the filter's not been bashed about, there's no risk of you inhaling anything. And asbestos is not really used past that. If you want a safe Russian filter, rather than one of these that fits the masks, you can either get a Polish ABEC filter that looks like that. These are meant for Gost masks, you can sometimes find them on eBay. Or if you type in Russian gas mask filter, Russian 40mm filter, you should be able to find the Russian equivalents of these. They look like they're black filters but with a similar sort of label on them. They turn up on eBay for about £10 plus postage, so the Polish ones are cheaper for me to get. But the Russian ones ship worldwide and will fit the old masks, and they're obviously safe. So, as said, a general safety rule is any sort of old mask with a filter attached to it, don't wear the mask and breathe through the filter unless you know the filter to be safe. With really old masks, I would not do it anyway. When I did the testing the World War II gas mask video yesterday, lots of people informed me in the comments I shouldn't have done it because the filter contained asbestos. But as mentioned in the video, I wasn't using a 60mm filter from the period. I was using one from the 1980s that just happens to fit on the mask because it's the same connector. So, there you go. 
don't use any filters from the Warsaw Pact period, and don't use any sort of filters from the NATO countries or anywhere else prior to the 1960s, I'd say, is a good bet. However, sort of as I've said, breathing through old filters in general isn't a good idea, even if they don't contain asbestos in them. So if you want to be safe, only wear masks where you can change the filters on them, and then put the filters in from sort of 1990 onwards, and then I'd say as long as the filter's intact, you're going to be totally safe. Hopefully that's cleared up for people. If you want to know about a particular mask, ask about that model of mask, and then I will happily try and answer your question on the safety regarding the filter. But all these ones pictured aren't a good idea to breathe through.